Hey, what's going on guys? So behind me is Lake Mead, or what's left of Lake Mead. If you guys haven't heard, Lake Mead is having a record low water level and all along the now exposed shoreline, you can find some really strange things that used to be on the bottom of Lake Mead. In fact, to date, they have found five bodies, but there's also just boats that have been on the bottom of the lake for years. So we're gonna go on a really strange treasure hunt and see what strange things we can find along the shore of Lake Mead that used to be on the bottom of this lake. Look at that turbine up there, that building right there. That's an old turbine that used to be underwater. And you can see right up there, you can see the old water line. That, that used to be just a small little island out of the lake. And that turbine used to be underwater. Man, that is incredible. All right, look at this right off to the shore. It looks like we have a hull of a boat and another boat way up there. We're gonna park the boat here and get out and check this out and see what this is. All right, let's go check this out. That definitely looks like the hull of a boat. So a lot of people just drive their cars over to the shoreline over by the marina over there. And basically what they're looking at is they're looking at stuff that is easy to find, stuff that everybody can find just by, you know, driving their car up there and taking a look at what's around. But to see really cool and strange stuff that was once on the bottom of Lake Mead, you really need to get out here on a boat and just kind of cruise the shoreline until you see something strange. And that's the only way that you're gonna see some really cool and strange stuff that no one else is going to be able to see by just kind of driving their car and walking around the shoreline. Man, look at this. Who knew that there were so many seashells around Lake Mead? That's kind of cool. Well, let's get up here and check this out. Yeah, it's definitely a boat. Whoa. All right, so this is our first piece of a shipwreck, as it were. A fiberglass bottom boat. Only a piece of it, though. Look at this. Here's a piece of glass that's totally smooth from being underwater. That's kind of cool. I don't know, is this a boat or is this like... Looks like the back part of a boat. I mean, it says Electrocraft. I don't know, it's a strange looking boat. Because it's like broken in half here. But then... I don't know. That doesn't look like the back of a boat to me. Check this out though. There's all this glass here that's completely smooth from being on the bottom of the lake. There's no sharp corners to that at all. That's actually kind of cool. I'm keeping this as a souvenir. All right, so what's this then over here? <laughs> this is a part of a, a dock, part of the boat. I don't know, this doesn't look like it's been on the bottom of the lake for very long, it's pretty clean. But look at that, this all used to be underwater. You can tell because, you know, the stuff that was underwater is all white, light colored and clean. And then, I don't know if you guys can see on the mountains over there, but it's nice and dark. And that shows where the water line used to be. And there's nothing on this entire area that shows where the water line used to be. So all of this was underwater at one point. And where I'm walking right now was probably anywhere from 100 to 200 feet underwater at one point. Right up here I see something else. We're gonna go up here and take a look. Look at this. It's an old boat seat. That also looks like it hasn't been underwater for very long. But yeah, it's the old seat from a boat. 
Here's some old wood pieces and whatever. I don't know. Some random debris that just was on the bottom of the lake. Some more of that. Look at this. Really smooth glass. That's so cool. And look at this. The remains of some alien creature. It has the numbers on it. Right? Yeah, it's a fiberglass boat. Yeah, it's definitely a fiberglass boat, but I don't know. I mean Yeah, it's an electric car. But look at the look at this back end though. It looks like a like a bathtub oh, more than cool. a boat. Oh yeah, I found an alien skull. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of alien do you think that is? Maybe a catfish. This oh. is, this is like a, that's, that looks like his, the barbells? his little things. That's just a catfish, not an alien? I think. <laughs> All right, fine. I don't feel like that. But look at this it. weird thing, though. Look at the back end of this. Yeah, it's crazy. It just doesn't look like a boat. Yeah, it's weird. But it's definitely, look at the wood warped. That's definitely yeah, been underwater like, yeah, for a while. Like, yeah, oh, you know why this comes in? This comes in and that's where the engine would go. I got gotcha. you. You see what I mean? This goes in and it'll go that way and then there will be another one of these. Mystery solved. Gotcha. There you go. So this is like one third of it. Yeah. I, this I, comes in. See what I'm saying? This comes in. Yeah, look at it. It's turning in this yeah, way. Yeah, and then that's where the, the engine would that's sit. That's where the outboard would go. And it'll be this right here and then it'll go to the front. So this is just a piece of this thing. This yeah. thing probably exploded. Yeah. I mean, we don't know that for sure, but... <laughs> You know, it certainly makes for a more interesting story than, hey, my boat broke apart on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, first strange object found on the shores of Lake Mead here. All right, we're getting back on the boat and uh, we're gonna continue to cruise the shoreline until we see something else here. Look at this, as we're turning around this bend, there's a boat up there and another boat up there. We're gonna go over there and take a look. All right, so these two sunken boats right here that obviously aren't sunk anymore, but you definitely cannot see these boats unless you are out on a boat because this whole stretch right here, this is a whole sunken island that's inaccessible by the mainland over there. You can see a few cars over there and buildings over there. There's no way that anybody who just drives up with their car can see this. Look at that. All right, we're getting out and taking a look. Land hoy. Land hoy hoy. <laughs> Check this out. He coming up? That's cool. He coming up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go check this out. Wow. So like I said, we are on an island right now that is inaccessible by just driving out here. Look at this, pieces of the boat over here, cables over here, but look at this. Man, look at the sediment that's in here, the amount of shells and rocks. Who knows how long this boat's been down there. That's crazy. Look at this. Big piece of the boat here. Yeah, oh yeah, gas can from the boat there. Man, you can't help but uh, see a wreck like this and, you know, wonder what happened to the people who were on the boat. Here's a, look, the seat's buried right there. Yeah, look at this. Here's where the seat is buried. There's a piece of the boat that's absolutely wedged in there. That's been down there for decades. Man, the prop is gone. Look at that. The battery? Yeah, that's an old battery. Oh my God. Yeah. That is a really old battery. That's, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> look at how corroded these are. It's like an old Johnson. Yeah, it does. But look at that. It is plenty corroded. Yeah, that's been, this has been down there for 
a long, long time. Man. Yeah, it really makes you wonder what happened to the people that were in this boat. But again, like the other island we were at, there is no watermark. All of this was a submerged island at one point. And unfortunately, that's what this boat probably hit, was those rocks right there. And uh, probably sank, well, what is that? Maybe a couple hundred feet down to the bottom of what was once the bottom of Lake Mead. But look at this. That's where the seat was. That's where a seat was. Look at this. That's corroded. Yeah, yeah, old carpet. Man, it's really hard to gauge how long this has been down here, but... I don't know, I don't see like... I'm like checking out the hull here. Like look under here. Oh, there it is. That's where it hit. Look at that. That's where it hit and sank, right there. You can definitely see the impact right there and where it scraped along the rocks. Like all the way down. Or if that's from it hitting and then coming down as a break. Yeah. No yeah, so no doubt it hit that. That was just oh, under the yeah. surface at one point. And there's the impact right there. But look at this. The tide craft. Man, yeah, I really wonder how long this has been down there. All right, look at this over here. Here's an old seat. Another part of the seat that's probably the back of the seat. I kind of guess that this is definitely, at a guess, maybe late 70s, early 80s. But look at this old gas can right here. All rusted out. Man, yeah, that has been down on the bottom of the lake for a long, long time. Again, you can't help to look at this and wonder what happened to the people that were actually operating this boat when it went down. We're not that far from the main shore over there. Hopefully, they swam to shore and swam to safety. But that other one was just over here, over this ridge. We're going to go check this one out over here. Where was that other one? Where was it? Oh, there it is, way over there. All right, let's transverse these rocks and get down there. All right, here's the second shipwreck over here. Man, this island really claimed a couple of boats, didn't it? Yeah. There's a piece of it right there, wedged into the rock. But look at this, this is an even older boat. This is a much older boat than the other one. Look at this outboard. This is a really old outboard. Whoa. Look at this. Old steering wheel. Yeah, this is pretty crusted over. Look at all the muscles on this. It's just encrusted with these muscles. You see the impact? Yeah, that's how it's looking. That looks all good. Look at that light encrusted with muscles. That's crazy. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be like a impact here. I got a date here. I can't really see. All right, so for all my boat fanatics out there that are watching it, how old do you think this boat is? Comment below and let me know. But what's weird is we really can't see an impact like we could on the other boat from where this thing went down. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere. I mean, it's obviously been on the bottom of the lake for yeah, yeah, that decades. Yeah, like problem. It just got stuck in a storm, man. Could be. Oh, look at that. All encrusted, rusted. Those look like zebra mussels, are they? Yeah, that's what I got in my hand. Look up this one, though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, those are definitely zebra mussels. The bow and the hull and the stern, it all looks pretty intact. But you would think that you would see some sort of I don't know, impact, and look in here, a couple of beer cans in there, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just completely intact. Maybe this one didn't hit one of these submerged rocks and crash, who knows? But what's interesting is, like, 
all the electronics are all corroded and rusted, but this rope almost looks brand new. Yeah. You know, except for the muscles on it. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, look over here at these front lights. That's still very shiny. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Who knows, maybe this hadn't been down there that long. But it, it's an old boat. But does that mean that this was brand new when it went down? Or did this go down five years ago and somebody just bought an old boat and, well, had some bad luck? Either way, this island has claimed two boats. And again, you can see the cars parked over there. This is totally inaccessible by just driving up to Lake Mead and walking around. You can only see this stuff by uh, taking a boat out here. Wow, really, really cool and really, really strange. This boat right here is a complete mystery as to how it sunk, because again, the hull is completely intact and there's no evidence that it hit something and sunk because of that. Crazy. So before I came out here, I did a lot of research, tried to find, you know, the speedboat that's sticking out of the ground or the World War II boat that's over by the marina that we haven't found, but those have all been found before. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to come out here and find stuff like this that no one has seen before or very few people have seen before. And I didn't want to just walk the main shoreline where everybody else can and see what's already been photographed. And in all of my research, I haven't seen this boat pictured before. I haven't seen the boat on the other side of this cliff pictured before, which means that what you're looking at, not a lot of people have actually seen out here. All right, so we see something way up there, and all of this used to be underwater. But we see something black up here we're gonna go take a look at. We're not exactly sure what it is yet. All right, look at this. Another gas can. All rusted out. What's this? Coors Light. Circa 2017, I don't know, but look at this. Just somebody's gas can that fell overboard. All right, what is this? What the hell is this? I don't know. Looks like some guy. It's, well, it's a, like a bottle, but yeah, why is this metal thing attached to the top of it? Look at that. Yeah. It's like an old vase. Yeah. Hey, we're talking to Ryan. Oh, it. well, now we got that thing off. But look at that. Oh, what kind of bottle? It's like an old school bottle. Yeah. Super cool. That is really cool. You know what I'm doing with this? I'm keeping this. That is just cool. Yeah. I wonder what happens when you if you rub it. And it's totally intact and totally smooth from being on the bottom of the lake for so long. That's insane, look at that. Okay, that is just cool. Yeah, All right, that black up. thing is over here somewhere. I don't remember how far up the shore it was, but it was definitely visible from the lake. And it's gotta be up here somewhere. Okay, where is this thing? Now watch, it was just a big piece of plastic. All right, so here's that black thing that we saw from the lake and all of this still was underwater and uh, it goes all the way up there. You can see on the side of the mountain over there where the water line was, all of this was underwater, but oh my God, look at this. These are like giant tires. These are enormous tires. Look at these things. But they got styrofoam in them and they're all like cinched together with this heavy duty cable. I have no idea what this would have been used for, but obviously this was some kind of float because there's styrofoam wedged in every one of these. So way down there is where the boat is. And I don't know, we were about 500 yards off from shore and we saw this thing and man, whatever this was for, I have no idea, but it's not like somebody took a bunch of tires and dumped them in the lake. This was deliberate. 
Man, this is a total mystery. I have no idea why this would exist. Look at this. Guys, comment below. Seriously, let me know what you think this group of tires would have been used for. Why would they have submerged this? This is just weird. But yeah, this is the strangest thing that we have seen all day long. Have no clue, again, why these tires would exist. And again, comment below if you have any idea what these tires may have been used for and why they were submerged. Because I seriously have no clue. I don't even have a guess. And guys, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you always get notified when I upload. And until the next strange adventure, embrace your strange and rattle on.